Yo, what's up, guys? It's Rick. So, I don't know about you guys, but I heard a lot of rumors about Andrew Tate versus Jake Paul. Now, I know just about as much as you guys about whether or not this is gonna actually happen, but I do have some videos to watch to maybe help me understand the situation a bit better, and hopefully you guys could learn some new stuff, too. All that I'm aware of is Andrew Tate was calling out Jake Paul. Well, not really calling him out, but sort of exposing him, saying that there's many fighters out there that would f*** him up, you know? But the hard work will never pay off because they aren't famous to begin with. But at the end of the day, what he's trying to say is that there's lots of fighters out there that could beat up Jake Paul. Because, you know, Jake only fights retired MMA fighters basketball players so he's just giving him a reality check saying that his 5-0 and record doesn't really mean anything but yeah that's all i know of so maybe there's some new um info in these videos that i'm going to be watching this one right here that i have is actually made by fightify so shout out to them let's check it out Andrew Tate is looking more and more likely to be Jake Paul's next boxing opponent. I found some recent footage of him doing a little bit of work on the pads, but make sure you guys watch this video to the end because at first he's just playing around and towards the end you can see more of his technique and what he brings to the table for that matchup. <laughs> Yeah, I remember I seen this on his Instagram. Everybody was wondering why he doesn't have his guard up. To most of you guys, he would look a lot different if he's actually training for a fight. I think with this footage he's been putting up on Instagram, he's just staying in shape and doing his thing and putting up some clips. But him in the actual training camp, we'd be looking at a completely different fighter. In this footage, you can see a bit more of his technique and that he can still fight. He's a kickboxer out and out, does do a bit of boxing, obviously, but his main focus would be kickboxing. Jake Paul is new to boxing, but has picked up some serious skills. But I cannot take this footage too seriously because Andrew Tate is literally playing around in a front driveway or something. It's not his best ability being shown here. But this matchup is looking more and more likely, and it kind of makes sense. A kickboxer could be the next progress he could make before fighting a boxer in terms of right i mean that's very true to be real with you guys i re i actually don't see this fight happening but it could the reason why I, I don't see it happening is because one of them has to lose and i can't see either of them losing to each other you know what i mean like for jake i just don't see him losing and then I, I just can't see andrew losing either so that's the main reason why this wouldn't happen like you guys know what i mean by that like None of them could really afford to lose to each other. Jake Paul's career. Has seen Ratman Jr. might have been a step too far too quickly. But for me, guys, Andrew Tate is... Yeah, uh, the Haseem Rockman fight was cancelled because, you know, Rockman didn't make the weight or whatever. And you know what? I made a prediction video for that fight. I said Jake would win, but looking back at it, there's no way Jake would have won. It seems a guy with 100 uh, amateur fights... And a professional record of 12 wins and one loss or something like that. All in all, like, he's just a way better fighter. I was saying, you know, Jake would win because Hasim is coming off a loss and his momentum's gone. But still, looking back at it, there's no way Jake would win that fight. And that's the reason why the fight's not happening anymore. Because Jake realized that he wouldn't win. Everything he does is all, like, part of the plan, you know? He only does things that he knows he could win. And in regards to Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, I don't know about that one. I actually don't know. I think Jake would still win that one, even though Tommy's a professional boxer. And you know what would be nice? If Jake and Tommy fight on the undercard for KSR, like if they're fighting in the UK, so Tommy would be able to, because he lives in the UK, I'm pretty sure. And I feel like that would just work out, but Jake's not going to do it. Like, there's no way he does it. Anyways, let's uh, get back to the video still a big matchup and a hard matchup for Jake Paul as well because he has that will to win. Andrew Tate has got a lot on the line. He's not going to want to get embarrassed by Jake Paul, so he's going to go all out for this fight. Andrew Tate is 35 years old, which is at the back end of his career, but not too old to still do a boxing match. Yeah, because Tyron was 39 when Jake and him fought. So, I mean, 35? Not, you know. 
it's not too old okay so that was the first video we're gonna look at we got two more all right the second one we're gonna be looking at is called jake paul versus andrew tate confirmed uh it's made by caught on camera so shout out to them let's check it out jake paul versus andrew tate might have just been confirmed if this is true it may just break the internet now this isn't just some fake news either Keemstar, who is a famous YouTuber that reports news and is very big in the YouTube boxing scene, tweeted out this. Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate, checkmark. Rumors from sources. Now, yes, as of now, these are just rumors, but Keemstar has a very good track record when it comes to leaking these fights. He's predicted Jake Paul versus Tommy Fury, Asim Rodman, and recently KSI versus Alex Wasabi. Can I pause? So I would be surprised if this Can I pause? Didn't Holy f***ing shit, can I pause? Keem predicted Tommy versus Jake and Hasim versus Jake, but guess what? Those never f***ing happened. Dumbass. I challenged Jake Paul. I made a Jake Paul challenge video. It's on YouTube somewhere. It's also, it went really big on Twitter because I challenged him because he is a very fortunate young man. And he's fortunate because he's extremely rich because he's allowed himself to become the biggest clown on the internet. And now he's famous, right? Because <laughs> he's, he's, he's an idiot. But he has a bunch of money, so he gets to make a bunch of money from fighting. And the reason that upsets me is because most of the real fighters out here know it's a terrible career path. Mm. It's extremely difficult to make any money from fighting. There's so much luck involved, so much hard work, so much sweat. See, this isn't the video I was talking about, but he's clearly stating that there are lots of fighters out there that will never make a lot of money off of fighting. Why is it playing? I didn't... But, um... They'll never get paid the way Jake's getting paid, even though they're better than him, pretty much. Along. Most of the guys you watch in the UFC are broke. All right, I guess that's Things it. Things are getting saucy at Montana's all-you-can-eat rib. Oh, I can't wait till I get a new f***ing computer. Did Holy you know shit, this sucks. Rib? I'm ordering. I just ordered a PC last night. It's gonna be way better than this shit. 4K reaction videos coming in really soon. Okay, and this is the last video we're gonna be looking at is called Jake Paul just announced his fight against Andrew Tate, made by Loaf Tube. Shout out to them. All right, let's check it out. Jake Paul has had some bad luck with his recent opponents, with the likes of Tommy Fury pulling out, not once, but on two occasions. The most recently, of course, and most, if not all of you would know, Haseem Rahman Jr. wasn't able to make weight, and Jake's event has now been fully postponed because of it. Although, there has been some speculation Jake Paul is looking to fight Andrew Tate. I'm sure all of you know who Andrew Tate is, as he's been all over your phones the past few months. The only way I could see this fight happening is if it's an exhibition match. No judges, no winner. That's the only way I could see it happening. There's no escaping the man. On Logan Paul's impulsive episode with Triple H at the start, he mentioned that in their next episode, his younger brother Jake is the guest, and he had something to say to Tate, aka a call out most likely. Welcome back to LoveTube. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and switch on the notification bell to receive updates on new celebrity videos. Let's jump right into the video and find out if Jake Paul has really just announced Andrew Tate as his next opponent. Andrew Tate's kickboxing record is 76 and 9, which is a very impressive ratio. 76 and 9? Holy f that's crazy. From wins to losses and proves he's not all talk when it comes to combat sports as he's even at an elite level when it comes to kickboxing. Jake Paul of course specializes in just boxing and holds a 5-0 professional record. This could easily be one of the most highly anticipated fights of the year and smash PPV numbers of at least 1 million. When promoting the Haseem Rahman Jr. fight, an interviewer asked him about the potential Andrew Tate bout matchup to which he claimed he had no clue who he was, and his manager was trying to quickly move on from the question, which is obviously the biggest cap of the decade. As Jake then posted a TikTok the same day with the caption, Top G, is this fight something you guys would want to see? And if it did end up happening, who would win? And what round would it be in? J. Leon Love, a friend of Paul's, who has worked with the YouTube star during his brief boxing career, thinks that about what result in a major financial gain for the two parties due to the expectedly large audience size. No matter what, if Andrew and Jake fight, they're going to do insane numbers, he said. They would. They would do really good numbers, yeah. Guaranteed, they will. What makes sense makes money. For some backstory on the top G himself, Tate, who claims to own a sizable collection of supercars, including a Bugatti Chiron that is worth an estimated 3.4 billion pounds, is the son of a chess master. In addition, he makes fun of many of his guests' lack of riches and entices them to join his Hustlers University program in order to learn how to generate money. Tate. Yes, Tate is really smart for that. He, um, 
he basically he gets people to make accounts and post clips of him and you know so like my my uh my whole feed has just been flooded with him like all my instagram or my um my youtube shorts have just been andrew tate for like the past i want to say month now almost but yeah he's, he's really smart for that it has stated that he doesn't like his prospective next opponent but is utterly certain to win any confrontation i don't dislike him i understand him but i want to make something clear I would still kick the living fuck out of Jake Paul, he said during an appearance on the fellas podcast. I'm not some washed up UFC fighter, and I'm not smaller than him. I would beat the living shit out of him, and if he wants to fight, I'll fight him any day of the fucking week. He's very smart. With his, I'm just a YouTube angle, you're a full grown man with the best coaches in the world who has dedicated years to learning how to box. The guy's not a jackass. And the fact that he puts this spin on it is very smart. Tate was enraged after Paul famously challenged Conor McGregor in 2021 and posted a video calling out the problem child, saying the influencer was desperate for a reality check. Tate even put money on the line, offering Paul $3 million for a match that would be recognized to support his claims. Given the current state of Jake's battle with Haseem Roman Jr., it appears like this specific matchup may actually take place. Though Tate claims there are no longer any resentments. In an episode of the Full Send podcast recently, he spoke candidly about his feelings for the younger Paul brother and stated why he's not offended by the YouTuber's current obsession with punching. At the time, I thought that Jake Paul was just disrespecting fighters as a whole because fighting is a really hard life, Tate said. Now it seems that Jake Paul is taking his boxing career seriously. I'm no longer angry at the guy because he's a boxer, effectively. And he's using attention. He's using provocative marketing to make himself as much money as possible. I, of all people on the planet, cannot sit here and shit on that fucking game. I get what he's doing. Over the past 24 hours, people on social media are liking the idea of a Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate fight. As everyone knows, but won't admit the lead up to the fight would be chaos, and even the fight itself would be too good. I would love to see a press conference with these two guys. That'd be so funny. Standard, as they both have been training for years on end, and Tate has been for over a decade, if not two. As crazy as it feels to type this, I will. It appears that a boxing match between Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate is gaining traction very quickly. Jake Paul should fight Andrew Tate. It's honestly what the world wants to see. A Jake Paul versus Andrew Tate boxing match would break the internet. The shit talking. How lit Twitter would be during the fight. I'm getting excited thinking about it. This concludes today's video. Alright, so we watched all the videos that we needed to watch. We're not really getting a yes or a no, so I could only really give you guys my my opinion. Like I said earlier on in the video, I don't see this happening, and if it does, it'll be an exhibition. Do you guys agree with that? I mean, I feel like it's the most reasonable thing. Like, I don't think Andrew Tate has ever had, like, a professional boxing match. Only kickboxing, right? I could be wrong, but I don't think his first professional boxing match would be against Jake Paul. I feel like it would just be an exhibition. But, let's say it's an actual professional fight. I would love to see that. Don't get me wrong, it's highly unlikely, but I would love to see it. But yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.